everyone. Welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. Today is the YouTubers Weekly, well, Nail Art Weekly stamping collab. <laughs> um, and the theme is inspiration. So whatever inspires your nail art. So my inspiration came to one of my favorite movies, and that is The Mummy. I love ancient Egypt stuff. It's just, I don't know, it's just so cool. And uh, when my kids were little, we actually got to go to the Field Museum in Chicago and see the King Tut exhibit. So that was pretty interesting. And before we went, I like bought, got books from the library and we read, you know, about ancient Egyptian stuff. And there's actually a good book. I think it's by James Patterson. And it was called The Murder of King, I can't remember if it was Murder of King Tut or The Murder of King Tukanaman, whatever. But actually it was a really good book. It had a lot of um, information on um, ancient Egypt, you know, pharaohs and all that kind of stuff. And then worked up into, you know, what he thought happened to King Tut. Awesome book. Completely kept me glued to every page. Uh, very well written. He's a really good writer, at least... That's the only book I think I've read of his, but it was really well written, and I really love it. So, um, let's take a look at what everybody did for their um, for this collab, and check out their YouTube videos. Um, maybe they'll tell a little story behind their inspiration as well. So, let's take a look what we got and get started on how I created my nail art look. I'll be using Wave Gel's Clean Slate, which is black, Harvest Gold, which is gold, <laughs> the um, base coat, and a no clean top coat. There is a 10% off in the description box below. Bundle Monsters Black Stamping Polish, Dance Legends Gold Stamping Polish, and um, these two plates. This one is a Bundle Monster plate. And this one is a plate I got off of eBay. And then the Bundle Monster Monocle Stamper and Scraper. Okay, so right now I've got two coats of each color. We've got um, Harvest Gold and Clean Slate. And then I've got a nice shiny top coat on. Ooh, it just looks so pretty. So let's get stamping some liquid latex around um, a couple of these fingers that I'm going to use the hieroglyphics on, but I don't think I'm going to need them for the other fingers. The images are small enough. So we're going to start right here with the Eye of Horus. Okay, and I'm just going to take a little of the black stamping polish, just put it on there, and scrape it off. And pick it up with the stamper. And that's, oh, I used the wrong color. <laughs> so we're going to take the gold stamping polish and put it on the eye of Horus. Give it a good scrape. And pick it up. And that looks really good. So I'm just going to put it right here on my thumb. Wow, that is a beautiful gold. That looks pretty awesome on the black. Okay, so now next I'm going to pick up one of these inks. I'm trying to 
let's get one. Okay, so a good pickup. And that looks perfect, and I'll just get that little spot off with a corrector pen for all the glare. Next, I'm going to pick up this, um, this King Tut mask here. I just love this gold. It is such a beautiful gold for stamping. Perfect, and we're just going to put the gold mask right here. Very nice. So I'm going to get the hieroglyphics. And those picked up really nice and I'm going to put them right here this bit we're going to do some black hieroglyphics oops sorry about my arm Okay, and I'm going to put the black ones right here. Looks pretty on that gold. Now we just remove the liquid latex. And I'll do some little cleanup and then I'll come back. The last step is just to apply the shiny no clean top coat to the dried image so you don't smear it. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to cure it and come back. Here's the final look of my inspiration nails. I really like how the eye of Horus came out. I hope you liked that. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.